touch. So like I think I think Caitlin Clark, I think she called, I think like she can have an impact on that game. Like she's like Steph Curry down there. You know what I'm saying? But I think what I just want to really want to talk about, like the, this is like this thing called like to me it's the perfect storm. Like I just feel like there's been a, I get what you're saying. There's been a ton of cold girls to a ton of cold white girls too. Like then a Sue Bird, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Dana Tarasi, like um uh, what's her name? Okay, you see what I'm saying? Like even even in this draft. I do get I do get what you're saying. I do get what you're saying. Hey, uh, internally, I think you're saying this part, but you haven't actually said it. Um, I'm just wondering. I think it just difference. be when it comes to the debates, we be debating. We be debating on. We be debating on different shit, and you be saying you be saying that, and it be making me feel like um, uh, like uh, like the talent isn't important. Like they can take because. And I know you're not saying that because obviously they can't just market anybody. Caitlin Clark is the best right now. <clears throat> so it's easier for, for them to. But I see exactly what you mean by the uh, perfect storm because Maya Moore was good. Candace Parker was good. Um, Deanna Taurasi was good. Um, it's a lot of girls in the girl WNBA right played, now. It's a girl from UConn that played in the post maybe like three or four years back. What's her name? Um uh, she was super cold. What's the name? She's, uh, she's that girl that gave her that hard screen. She's somewhere though. Yeah, like you kind of. Yeah, everything. yeah. You talking about a uh, uh, what's her name? Is it a uh, fuck? She cold too. There's a ah, reason for her name. Yeah. Right, right. But I <laughs> should because I I watched I did the podcast and talked about that screen, um, and I covered that game. That game was good. I listened to and I loved like. Man, like I, I'm happy that WNBA and even college women's basketball is is getting a lot of recognition. But I used to hold it dear to my heart because now we're getting conversations and they make you think about marketing and all these news outlets and make you it really do make you look at them and even just people like how drama uh feel people are and they make things deeper than it is because I like when nobody's paying attention to WNBA it just felt so wholesome to cover it because it's mm -hmm. none of the storylines like exactly. what you're saying no, it's none of the storylines like what you're saying um, uh, and, and now I'm getting those storylines and I'm like bro people don't like people who don't who just start so we could talk about Caitlin Clark right because people started People really started following college basketball for a lot of different reasons. One of it was because I think it starts with uh uh because again I watch college basketball women's more than more than the dudes recently, and I uh, I started watching WNBA probably heavy the last eight years, um just because it'd be in the summer and nothing else beyond, and they. The reason why I fuck with women's college basketball because it be team basketball, and I just like watching team basketball sometimes. So it, it would just be fun to watch, and a lot of times their championship games be close. So I used to like watching watching them, right? Still do, but um, Brittany Griner, I think when she got caught with her shit, I think a lot more people started paying attention to the WNBA just a little bit more and and they all been pushing it like all of them the WNBA been pushing for more attention um and then I think Angel Reese in that LSU team and and uh Flaw J the the uh, rapper mm -hmm. like in the L all of that kind of played into a part of the perfect storm that you're talking about. So it's a lot of people who who hasn't paid who haven't paid attention to women's basketball at all. It's magic. And they started magic. And they started right. And they started when um Angel Reese and LSU won the championship. And because Angel Reese was the best team player on that team, and it was arguably um 
everybody that doesn't watch women's basketball thought she was one of the best in the in the in the um country, right? And, and she is. Everybody thought she was the best in the country. But if you watch college basketball, no. you know that South Carolina won it the year before that. They should have won it. And they, they, they should have won it that year, right? And they lost, and it was an upset when they lost. And um, Caitlin Clark was always even back, like it was, uh, what's the name? She plays with her now, which is why it's so stupid. People don't understand the shit, and they start talking shit, and it doesn't make sense. The Indiana Fever, the reason why they so trash is because they've been trash and they had the number one pick before. And that's and that's who um she plays with now. And she came from South Carolina. I forget her name. I'm horrible with the girls' names. I really am. Um, the girl, so had, much. Uh, Maroon Dreads. She's a four. You talking about Aaliyah Boston? Yeah, Aaliyah Boston. Uh, <clears throat> Aaliyah Boston? That, yeah. that, is that who she is? Mm-hmm. She she was she everybody was caught in the beginning of the season. Everybody was saying she's she's up there with Caitlin Clark and Caitlin Clark always been a real good guard and she always was nice from three. She started stepping back a little bit more and that and that and that was during the that was during the same season. So it's real funny, like how you said they definitely um, college basketball and even now the WNBA have definitely pushed her. And I don't know if she would have got this much push if it wasn't for the surge of it. But is the Angel Reese really is a very good personality? She not the best, and people don't notice that she's not the she wasn't the best player. Quick question, Luz. Quick question, Luz. Why is it that they victimized Angel Reese, but didn't? But. When I guess when they were matching up, I guess at that point in time, why was it like she was the victim? They were victimizing. They were making like Angel Reese, Angel Reese a villain, and yeah. um, I think you know why. I think I think well, well, two two reasons. I think underlying underlying reason she black, right? But the other reason is, I think because she's the way she. She, she, she who? Braggadocious. She's braggadocious. They have it. The ra- yes. She not like, she not like most women are. She hoop like a nigga. So she talks shit like a nigga. And that, and, and women's sports is predominantly the coverage of it. The, the media around it is predominantly white women and men. So they don't like that. Anytime you see, especially if you're a woman, anytime you see a woman being comfortable, a black woman especially, and not being humble, they don't they don't like that. So I think that's why. And and it and and it and I seen that. Caitlin Clark, Caitlin oh, Clark dude, has that same type of too. energy. She, yes, she, she has that this. same yeah, yeah. she has ah, that same energy. Yeah, she she got the same energy, and they love it when she do it. But when Angel Reese do it, they don't like it. So it get and it and it uh, it's always an interesting conversation because you know people say who's better, and I and and um, Damn, that's a debate talent. on its own. Yes, for sure, I I, I think I so mean, too. But Angel Reese is so good, so it's a lot of people think Angel Reese is better, and that's a nah, man. So a lot Andrew of people Reece smoking Caitlyn, man. What you talking about, bro? I already know your ass. <laughs> All I'm saying is this. If I'm the WNBA, I am finding everybody that keeps hitting her and that she, they're stopping their own money. They need to let, nah. get, let this white girl hit 100 points in a game. So next year, you can make more money. Yeah, she she but, growing the league. <laughs> let this white woman hit 100 points in the a game. Eminem, the way Eminem grew right, nigga. <laughs> 